100 college students were surveyed and it was found out that all of them have visited at least one of the following three cities, Austin, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts, and Chicago, Illinois. 53 of the students visited Austin, 52 of the students visited Boston, 65 of the students visited Chicago, 19 of the students visited Austin and Boston, 28 of the students visited Boston and Chicago, 31 of the students visited Austin and Chicago, 38 of the students visited exactly one of the following three cities, Austin, Boston, and Chicago. Now we have to answer the following questions. How many students visited only Austin? How many students visited only Boston? How many students visited only Chicago? How many students visited both Austin and Boston but not Chicago? How many students visited both Boston and Chicago but not Austin? How many students visited both Austin and Chicago but not Boston? How many students visited all of the following three cities, Austin, Boston, and Chicago? We're going to solve this problem using a three-set Venn diagram and these are some of the facts that I have from my question. These are my facts and this is my Venn diagram. A stands for Austin, Texas, B for Boston, Massachusetts, C for Chicago, Illinois. Now let's um, make sure we understand 53 students visited Austin. These four numbers should add up to 53. Don't put 53 here. You would be incorrect. Okay, so let's let's do it once again. 53 is the sum of these four numbers. Okay, 52. The number of students who, visit, who visited Boston should be the sum of these four numbers. Why? Because some of the students who visited Boston could have been to the other two cities. Okay, and 65 is the sum of these four numbers. So let's put some of these numbers in our Venn diagram and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to put 53 here fifty two here and C number of people who went to Chicago is sixty five. Sixty five goes here. Now so we have dealt with the first three lines. We are up to this point. Okay. 19 stu students visited Austin and Boston. 19 should be the sum of this football. These two numbers should add up to 19 because the people who went to Austin and Boston could have easily went to Chicago. So that's 19 and I really can't do anything with it. And 28, 28 Boston and Chicago should be the sum of this football. And 31, the people who went to Austin and Chicago should be the sum of this football. Now, I don't know what goes here because the last line tells me 38 of the students visited exactly one of the following three cities, Austin, Boston, and Chicago. So when you add these numbers, you should get 38. Since we don't know how many students visited all three cities, we don't know what to put here in the center or the little triangle in the center, we're going to put x here. Now if this is x, this number has to be, remember we just decided that this football should add up to 19, so this number should be 19 minus x. And arguing exactly the same way, if 28 people, 28 students went to Boston and Chicago. This should be 28 minus x. This football here. And 31 students went to Austin and Chicago. This should be 31 minus x. Now, 
I do know that these three numbers, this one, this one, this one, should add up to 38. That's what the last statement tells me. This number, this number, plus this number should be 38. However, I know these four numbers should add up to 52. And these four numbers should add up to 53. And all these four numbers here should add up to 65. So now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out what goes here, here, and here. And how do we do that? Well, we can find out what goes here in terms of x, which happens to be 52 minus 19 minus x minus 28 minus x minus x. And this turns out to be 52 minus 19 plus x minus 28 plus x minus x. And this turns out to be 52 minus 19 minus 28 is 5. And the x, two of the x's cancel each other and there is one positive x left. So that goes here, 5x. 5 plus x, I'm sorry, not 5x, 5 plus x. Okay, so let's use a different color. Use red to find out what goes here. Using the exact same technique, since I know these four, this number, this number, this number, this number should add up to 53, so I can conclude 53 minus 19 minus x minus 31 minus x and minus x should equal 53 minus 19 plus x minus 31 plus x and then there is a minus x and which turns out to be 53 minus 19 minus 31 53 minus 19 minus 31 turns out to be 3 plus x so we write 3 plus x here Okay, let's use blue. We need to do the same thing to find out what goes here. It's going to be 65 minus these three quantities. Sixty-five minus thirty-one minus x minus twenty-eight minus x minus x is equal to sixty-five minus thirty-one plus x minus 28 plus x minus x, which turns out to be, let's see what 65 minus uh, 31 minus 28 is. 65 minus 31 minus 28 turns out to be 6. So it's going to be 6 plus x, and we're going to write 6 plus x here. So. So this is what we have. We have a bunch of um, expressions. All the seven regions are labeled in terms of x. And nothing goes here, because if you read the question carefully, it says, all of the students went to at least one of the three cities. So zero goes here. Nothing goes here, zero. So what do we have here? We have this from the previous slide. I changed the fonts, so it's all in the same color now. We can use the very last statement to determine the value of x. We know this plus this plus this should equal 38. And we are going to have 3 plus x plus 5 plus x plus 6 plus x is equal to 38 from our question. And that implies. 3 plus 5 plus 6 is 14 plus 3x must equal 38. And that implies 3x is equal to 38 minus 14, which equals 
24, which implies x equal to uh, x is equal to 24 divided by 3, which is equal to 8. So now we know x is 8. Okay, if x is 8, we're going to go ahead and put everything in terms of a number now. So this is going to be, let's write it here if we can, if you have enough room. 8 plus 3 is going to be 11. This is going to be 8. This is going to be 19 minus 8 or 11. This is going to be 5 plus 8 or 13. This is going to be 28 minus 8 or 20. This is going to be 6 plus 8 or 14. This is going to be 31 minus 8 is going to be the same as 30 minus 7 is going to be 23. Now I'll clean it all up so don't worry. Um, of course 0 here. Now we have numbers in each of the eight regions of our Venn diagram. So here's my clean Venn diagram with everything filled out. Now a couple of things you want to note is that if you add these four numbers you should get 52. These four numbers should add up to 53. These four numbers should add up to 65. And I don't have the data on top but I think they said something like 28 people, students visited Boston and Chicago, these two numbers should add up to 28. These two numbers should add up to 19 because 19 people went to uh, Austin and Boston and these two numbers should add up to 31 because 31 people went to Austin and Chicago. So you want to make sure your numbers are all correct. If the numbers are wrong, all your answers will be incorrect. So how do we answer some of these questions? How many students visited only Austin? Well, this part. Austin, but not the other two. So I'm going to write 11. How many students visited only Boston? That would be 13. How many students visited only Chicago? That would be 14. Okay. How many students visited both Austin and Boston, but not Chicago? That would be 11. How many visited Boston and Chicago, but not Austin? That would be 20. How many visited Austin and Chicago, but not Boston? That would be 23. How many students visited all of the following three cities, Austin, Boston, and Chicago? That would be this number, 8. So we have answered all, our, all of our questions.